Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and this is my 20th Let's Play, Fatal Frame 4. I never thought I'd get to play this game, but here we are. I'm going to experience something that not only have I never experienced before, but also I was never meant to experience this. Why? Well, because I'm not Japanese, and I do not speak Japanese, for this game was not released outside of Japan. Um, actually, speaking of which, I guess Fatal Frame 4 is something of a misnomer, even though we all know what it means, but Fatal Frame is what Americans call the game. Well, there's always Project Zero, but that's what Europeans and Australians call the game, and, well, this wasn't released there either, so I guess I'd better stick with the Japanese title, Zero, Tsukihami no Kamen, the subtitle being translated to Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Oh, yes. That is a badass title. I'm enjoying this. Now, I will call my videos Fatal Frame 4 for the sake of simplicity, and yeah, it kind of is that game, but, you know, I'm just being nitpicky. I'm, I'm just sticking with Fatal Frame 4 for simplicity's sake, so we're not going to go uh, break the pattern. But you know what? There's actually something else that's special about this particular video. You see, this is my 20th Let's Play. This is going to be a fantastic game, but you know what? I made another video. And I'm going to include it here, from now on, on my first installment of each Let's Play I do. You see, after MAGFest, I went ahead and grabbed a bunch of clips of games that I played so far. And I got something else, too. Remember that badass audio clip I got off of John St. John? And as a reminder, he is the voice, um, most famous for the voice of Duke Nukem? Well, you know what? I got him to say one more thing, and that's going to be featured in this video. Oh yeah, I made an opening sequence. Have a ton of fun, everyone. Let's go crazy. Lotus Prince. Let's play. Well, as you can imagine, I can't read Japanese, and as you know, Fatal Frame is very plot-intensive, and there are some puzzles you cannot solve without being able to read. Now, you can't really read this, and it's blurry even for me, but this is saying that some fantastic, fantastic people actually fan-translated this game, so we can get through it. Now, let's take a look at that glorious title screen once again, just to prove that, yes, we're doing this. <laughs> we are doing this. Now let's see what we can do. Option. What do we have in the options menu? Configuration, okay. Subtitles, you definitely want those. Sound is fine. Vol okay, we're just, it's just volume. Brightness. Okay, this I'm kind of doing for you, so that should be good. Goody, goody. Okay. Done. Save settings, yes. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to let the title screen sit for a bit and let the opening movie play. And this time I know that the movie you get for waiting is not the same as the uh, movie that starts when you start the game. This is actually worth waiting for, and the good news is you don't have to wait a half hour like you do for Fatal Frame 3. I will give you one warning, though. The, the fan subbers put subtitles all over the place, so it's really, really useful, and it allows us to hear what the actors are saying, but not for the opening movie. So this, you're just going to have to go blind. But it's still beautiful to behold. Nice imagery. And you know what? It's very rare that you actually see the piano being played accurately in animation. They put effort into that. I like that. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at this hallway. I think we know where this is going. Tattooed priestess? Come on, show yourself. Do it. Do it. Look, look at those masks on the wall. You think one of those is the angry mask? The reflection mask, maybe? Ooh. Whoa! Hello. Fatal frame. You are all dead. That text coming out makes it look like this was probably like an E3 trailer or something like that. Ugh. Oh god, so the first game's about ropes, the second game's about twins, the third game's about tattoos, this game seems to be about masks. You know something, I'm not gonna lie, masks get to me more than dolls do. If used properly. Even the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it's a Zelda game, but that game was freaking creepy with all those masks. It was creepy anyway. Go. Once again, a rockin' song for the trailer. I really love these. Ugh. God, you know she's like a mid-boss, that woman in red. I get the feeling she's not the final boss. She's probably still gonna kick my ass, though. Now, I'm honestly curious. I get the feeling if you take that mask off, she'll probably not have a disfiguration. I think it'll just be a normal person. Just a creepy person. You can't tell with the freaking Ryu distortion. Ooh. Alright, we're playing that game, huh? Bring it on. I beat three of your Fatal Frame games, I could beat one more. Normal. Let's go crazy. Now, I played the game for like three seconds to sort of accustom myself to the controls, but I don't know anything about what's going on because I skipped the opening movie. So this will be new for me too. This game takes place in Japan, and his characters. Okay, so basically we've been translating the game, but there's going to be some Japanese references that you may or may not get. Okay. Yeah, speaking of, I hope you watch anime or foreign films, because we're going to be getting a lot of subtitles. Now, I'm not going to read conversation subtitles, I'll just read text subtitles, like notes. The answer is no. Like that? Oh no, what's this gonna be? I don't know what that was. Are those photos on the wall on the left? Huh. God, what's this gonna be? Dude. So they were kidnapped before the ghosts? Screw that. Madoka Tsukimori, intro chapter, first blossoms. Interesting. Okay, so left and right turns the camera, forward moves forward. Actually, it's still kind of tank controls, even with the Wii. Oh, look at that! I move the remote up and down, and I look up and down. That's really cool. Now, as per usual, Fatal Frame games, I do not start with the camera. Now, let's see. The Z button allows me to run. The C button does nothing, at least for now. Minus takes me... 
to the menu. Consumables and key items, just like FF3. Files, I'm assuming I have nothing. Hints? There's just hints in this game? Records, obviously I get nothing. Audio, yeah, yeah, yeah. Summary. No plot summary? Well, of course. Very considerate of the game that gave us that, though. Ghost list. No way! It just starts off telling us there's 233 ghosts in total? That's very considerate. If you recall, Fatal Frame 1 and 2 didn't give you a ghost list at all until a new game plus, and Fatal Frame 3 teased us with the secret ghosts only, the 33, and then it revealed the entire 217 later. Speaking of 217, this Fatal Frame may have the most ghosts of all, 233. Wow. Well, that's the minus button. The plus button takes us directly to the map. Rogetsu Hall, first floor. Two doors to choose from. I'm assuming this one is locked locked because I guess that's where we came in. Okay, the one button does nothing. Two button does nothing. D-pad does nothing. A does nothing. And B does nothing. Okay. All that all out of the way. It's a newspaper. I touched it, it fell apart, and I can't distinguish the letters. I like how it actually tells me when I can examine things. That's pretty cool. They are Polaroid photos, just like in the cutscene. They're faded and impossible to know what they were taken of, and it's too bad I can't go into, like, a viewfinder mode. I would like that right about now. Yeah, of course it's locked. That animation was considerably smoother than the PS2, where you would stop, and then it would say, oh, it's locked. Also, my running is slow as hell. I hope that picks up later. I don't think it will, though. Can I not touch the elevator? Switch? Nothing? I can't use it at all? Okie dokie. I'll get the stairs later. I'm going to try to cover the first floor. Can't examine that, huh? Okay. Ugh. Old lattices are stacked. The door's broken. Oh, hold on. Oh no, the stairs do keep going. I was wondering if it was a dead end. Also locked. Well, I guess, hey, if the map says so. Nothing under the stairs. Okay. Whoa. Ugh, that was abrupt. I would say I know I'm safe for now, but in Fatal Frame 3 I got my ass kicked, if you recall. The masks seem almost alive. Huh? Huh? Hold Z to run, I know that already. Turning around, shake the Wiimote to do a 180 turn. That, I'm assuming, is going to be very useful. Very useful. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. And I get the feeling I'll be using that very soon. So it looks like the Wii Fatal Frame is just dropping camera angles and it's just following me the whole way through. I'll see if I can get used to that. Alright, now let me guess. This door's locked, someone's gonna scare me and I'm gonna run all the way back. Because that's how 180 turns work. Oh, loading. This one's gonna open, isn't it? Okay. Is that an item? Oh, it's the flashlight. This may be the first Fatal Frame game where you don't start with the flashlight. So I'm Madoka, and I'm looking for Misaki. And this might be her flashlight. Huh? Well, it's my flashlight now. Use the Wiimote to control. Okay, well, I've already said that I can use the Wiimote to look around. I guess I can use it for the flashlight, which is pretty cool. Control up and moving the Wiimote in any direction. Okay, we know this. Misaki isn't here. Misaki. 
Whoa. Oh, it's by the masks. So she's behind me, I guess? Oh, that shut fast. Alright, let's try this out. Yeah, look at that. I like this. And again, I use left and right on the nunchuck to rapidly look left and right. Courtyard. An unknown floral pattern. The arrow seems to point at the door on the right. Gee, what's this door have? Oh, there's more masks? Ugh, look at those creepy things. Creepy? It just says creepy. Decorated masks. I'm gonna explore some more before checking after her. Old photos. It's impossible to tell what they're taken of. That's the most alive. I guess she entered this door. Let's check the sign first if I can. No, okay. Well, we're just gonna go after her then. What? Locked from the inside. Misaki? Damn it. Kick the door down. You're a champ. What? Can I read that? Yes, I can. Next to the door with the Kunihiko Aso music. Kunihiko Haso Museum. He's the guy who, if you recall from Fatal Frame 3, made the camera obscura and the spirit radio and the projector. And there's a museum for him in that door? Dude, I gotta see that. What the hell kind of supernatural stuff is in there? Probably the camera obscura. That's how I'm starting the game, I guess. Please direct inquiries to the second floor management office. I don't know how that would count as a puzzle. Like, that wouldn't help me open the door, realistically. It's just a sign of business but being a video game I now know that I must oop slipped on the grammar being a video game it actually is a puzzle and now I know that I must go to the second floor to the manager's office specifically see how slowly she reach for that door oop, a little bit of lag there Man, these walls look like crap. Let me look a little down. It's getting, I'm getting a little disoriented looking slightly up all the time. Oh, hello. That is surely a ghost. I can still see it walking up. I guess that's a new game plus ghost. I'm really powering up those stairs. Alright, show me the manager's office. Jeez. How many masks do you have? Eerie decorated masks. Seems like they're different personalities. There's a story behind them. Yeah, I, d I did notice that actually. Ugh. You can only begin to imagine the ghosts in this game. Will the map help me? Probably not. Also, I will stop at the first save point I see, because I'm just testing the waters right now. That's clearly a secret door. Oh, pushing it doesn't help. So you know what? It's probably able to open from the other side. Elevator, I have no use for that. Wheelchairs. You have got to be kidding me. Just when you thought Fatal Frame couldn't get any scarier, it takes inspiration from freaking Silent Hill. Maybe this will be the scariest game in the world because of that. So is this the district manager's office? Nope. I can tell because it's locked. Can I not? There we go. Huh? Oh, the paint seems to have corroded and peeled away? Okay. This game has oppressive, claustrophobic hallways. Uh oh. That door freaking slammed. <laughs> Let's follow it. I like following creepy doors. Ugh, <laughs> no I don't. By the way, is it just me or is this place very disorienting? Also, that face is probably the scariest thing ever. Ugh. Yo, I hate this hallway. Look at this. 
the hell was that? Oh, it's crackling. That means there's a ghost nearby. It's the Fatal Frame 3 trick. What? Ugh. Piss off, man. Don't scare me like that. Management office. The room was obscured by darkness. Oh, boy. I do not want to go in there. Can I examine this? No. I do not want to go in there. I do not want to go... Seriously, is this Silent Hill or what? I'm dead now, aren't I? Nobody's here. Objects will turn blue when my flashlight illuminates them. That's a good thing to know. That's very good to know. Let's try it out. That is going to make exploration more difficult, but actually pretty cool and interactive. I like it. When the object reacts, you get to examine it. <clears throat> so basically, I have to create the glowies and then pick them up. The A button is displayed when you approach an item. To reach out for it, press and hold the A button. I'll pick it up and keep it. If I release it, I'll retract it. Why would I ever release it? Oh, well, whatever, dude. I'll pick it up. Let me guess. There are going to be multiple instances where as I'm reaching out for something, something scares me. In the reaching process. That's how it's going to work, isn't it? I left the museum key on my desk. Take care to lock the doors. Is there a valuable exhibits? Okay, so check the desk. Hey, I have a... F wait, I have a filament? Oh, no, the, the flashlight is the filament. Oh, I thought that was a scene or something. So the, the filament is bright blue. Is there something on here? Old charts. Okay, I don't care. Huh. Can I see them, please? No? Thanks for nothing? Oh! And scare me. Nope. Hey! Museum, good. I totally want to go back there. Pressing the minus button gets the win menu. I know this. Okay, we've, we've been over that. No way. It marks where I need to go. That's fantastic. How do I go up and down a floor. I don't know. I'll take care of that later. Huh? A stack of nurses' clothing is on the other side of the gate. Dude, seriously? Wheelchairs and nurses? Are you joking? This is a sick joke, Fatal Frame. I swear to God. That's, that's not even funny. Now, my question is, how do I save, and where do I save? Whoa. Holy crap. This place officially sucks. I'm playing in this? Oh, the hell with that. I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, God. Make it stop. Ugh. Let me out. God. Uh, what do I do about that? That's creepy. Nice touch. God, that's over. That was unnerving. Oh, what gave that away? Maybe the murderous ghosts? Let's piss off and pretend this never happened. Oh, that song was terrible, man. 
It's all green and staticky. I don't need this. Let's get the hell out of here. And yes, this is seriously my running speed. It's atrocious, I know. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. Her stair speed is pretty competent, though. Ugh, that means when Kyrie shows up, I'll be, like, power walking away from her. It's freaking disgraceful. Okay, now, where was that museum? And where the hell's a save point? Seriously. Okay, so I have to double back around. I, actually, I'm sorry. I did see a little something weird on the map. Zoom in. Up, I guess? What is that? Is the S a save point? Space under the stairs, but I'll screen. Yeah, great. But we're like, what the hell was that thing on the map? Like, does S mean save point? Oh, this thing? This weird little thing? No? Maybe I can't use it yet? Whatever, man. I just want to take care of this and make it stop. Okay, so I have to get all the way down. All the way down. Okay, stay calm. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. Oh, lots of loading time for this one. Let's see what happens. Now, this hallway reminds me of the old trailer that didn't end up happening for Resident Evil 4, if you know what I'm talking about. Was this the one? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. No, that's, that's not it. One of these masks is gonna fall off the display, isn't it? Just to bother me. Nothing on the table or anything? Okay. Let's do it. I used the key. Oh good, cutscene. I can't be hurt during a cutscene. Oh, uh, maybe I can. <laughs> what do I know? Whoa, what? That was actually really creepy. I'm scared. Let's go deeper into the building. Ooh. Don't worry, I'm behind a wall. Ghosts can't penetrate those. Yeah, like I said. Oh, she is on the other side. I could penetrate the wall, I just choose not to. I don't feel like it right now. Ugh. This game, man, I'm telling you. It's doing a good job, I'll admit. A typewriter. Maybe I could save Resident Evil style. Maybe Fatal Frame 4 combines every damn horror game I could think of. Well, I could see items. Is there a freaking save point in here or something? No. Is that a save point? I get. Yeah, again, I guess it would be. I just can't use it. How long do you expect me to play? Alright, well, now it's item hunting time. At least there's a filament. Oh, I was wondering if I could strafe. Old case, there are books, strange titles, and I can't seem to focus on them? Oh, hello. Anything else? A lot of cameras. Hey, 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 hey. And my special, super duper favorite best friend. Oh, I'm picking that baby up. But first... Oh... Asso's note. The man himself. There are shadows that can only be seen by mediums. The thought of the dead linger in certain locations. In order to reveal those trails, 
After many prototypes, the camera obscura was developed. However, it appears to need further improvement. As a result of my investigations to the mask of the Rogetsu Island, I have made use of the materials and resources here to make a film plate. It's very likely that this will prove useful in my research into the camera obscura. I'm now convinced that a power exists that exceeds my expectations and that it is related to the strong effect that photo photographing the shadows has on them. A medium would probably say it comes close to exorcism. My personal experiences have significantly influenced my arrival of this bold belief. I was asked to donate a single camera obscura to the main collection. I do not think this island will need the power of the camera obscura. I hope it's unnecessary. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be taking that, thank you. Yes! Oh, you're mine, baby. You're mine. Oh, I gotta hold it down, that's right. Hit me! And what do I see on the other side? G -g 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 ghosts right? By the way, this is gameplay. I'm, uh, this is cutscene. I'm not doing this. Come on, have the ghost jump scare me. Yeah! <laughs> it still kind of got me, even though I saw it coming. Now, how do I bring it out? One? What do I do? See? Thank you. The B button. That's fantastic. It's a trigger button. And then press A to take a picture. That's a good system. Lock on. Well, that's nice. Let's try it. Oh, it tells me which direction it's in. That's so useful. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, this will be tricky. I have to, like, aim myself. Whoa! That was cool. By the way, you can't really hear it, but the ghost scream actually came from the Wiimote. Mazo... Kald vanished? Just then, who was that? Yeah, I agree. You know what? Now that I have the camera obscura... Why don't I run my ass? to the save point if I can okay I can't really read the clipping but I can see the words Dr. Asso oh hey you know what I better check my inventory how much film do I have whoa whoa don't even tell me I do two fights in a row oh game over bad ending. You should have used the other door. And that song. I don't need this. Ugh. Well, that was horrible. Seriously, that was horrible. I don't want this. Oh, yes, please. Yes, I would like to save. I would very much like to save. That saved fast as hell, by the way. Alright. Oh, that's kind of cool. But, nah. Oh. My goodness. I'm assuming there's going to be a cutscene. I'm going to skip it because I'm going to load the cutscene up properly in the next installment. So... Loading, loading, waiting for the Wii to go into overdrive. Yeah, okay, skip it, skip it, skip it. Chapter 1 out of tune. Hello, hello. Does that shimmery effect remind you of Eternal Darkness when you pick up the Tome of Eternal Darkness? Anyway, Ooh, Japanese. <laughs> well, with that little bit of terror out of the way, I'll stop the installment. Well, I think we made a bit of progress this time. Yeah, it was only the intro chapter, I know, but we got through all of it, and we actually got legitimate scares. This game, this game, it, you know, I, al I always feel weird about the Wii regarding survival horror, but this game is delivering. And it's doing a fantastic job of it, I gotta say. 
and it's got wheelchairs, and it's got nurses. We're all gonna die, aren't we? <laughs> we are freaking screwed. I'm telling you, that song is probably the creepiest thing in the game so far. It's getting me good. But you know what's also getting me good? The fact that I'm actually playing this. I get to Let's Play Fatal Frame 4. I can't believe this is actually working. I'm so excited. And you know there's a lot more where this came from. Until next time, everyone.